only hope for me is you. I think that's, that's my true. chemical romance. I'm going to go with Gerard on that one. I'll second that. Yeah, it's my chemical oh. romance. Take that, MTV. My chemical romance. My chemical romance. Yeah. 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 That feels like a lyric. Yeah. The only hope for me <laughs> is you. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible to miss a person this much. That's the show. That's the umbrella. I didn't think it was possible. Oh, that was uh, it was Alice. That's Alice. Yeah, yeah, with the baby. Oh, oh umbrella coming. That's me. Your line. That's my line. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 I don't love you like I did yesterday. That MRC, I would say. I don't, I, mm. Unless it was Aiden? MCR, you mean? Sorry, MRC. <laughs> what did MRC I is a studio <laughs> in LA. <laughs> I've been saying MRC the whole time. <laughs> Sorry, Gerard. Uh, I don't love you like I did yesterday. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to second Dave on that one. With MRC. With MRC. It's the newly renamed MRC. <laughs> Oh, I don't romance. love you like I loved you yes. yesterday. That one, yeah. Way out of tune. <laughs> See what I have to put up with. <laughs> if you love music, then you're in the right place. That's how we're saying. Yeah. yeah. We never said. We don't even acknowledge music with us, do we? My chemical. Yeah, I think that's my chemical romance, isn't it? <gasps> my chemical romance. My chemical umbrella academy. It's umbrella academy. Ah, isn't it? yes. There is no mystery here, nothing to avenge. Uh, that's, yeah. That's, that's the me. umbrella, baby. Magamal Romance. Umbrella Academy. Dang it, told you! <laughs> Diego says it, I believe. The ties that bind you together make you stronger than you are alone. I think that's Umbrella Academy again, isn't it? Probably Dad's. Pogo or, oh yeah, Dad, yeah. I mean, that's Umbrella Academy. Hmm. We're on your property, standing in V formation. <laughs> That, that, that sounds, sounds like yeah, chemical sounds romance. MRC, yeah, I'd say. Yeah. My, oh, my chemical romance. romance. Did you headbutt me in the face? Yeah, that was quite funny. I almost broke his nose, actually. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> he was trying to protect me from getting shot, and I kind of whipped my head back. And he just, yeah, just like blood, like ma like Master Roshi and Goku, just like all <laughs> yeah. this blood was just creeping out. Like, ah! Yeah, it was fun. We had sushi after that. We talked. We about did, it. yeah. Yeah, we, did. we had a cuddle. And that day, I was supposed to be absolutely wrecked, drunk on vodka. So I was already in this kind of very like state of mind. Uh, and then the one sort of heroic thing that Klaus sort of does kind of half clumsily is sort of save his life from being shot by yeah. Cha Cha. And what does he get for it? A headbutt in the face. Oh, well, most memorable would be our, I don't know how much you've seen, but we do oh, yeah. a dance sequence together where it's a partner dance. And I think that mm -hmm. would definitely be the most memorable. And yeah. it was it was a great moment for, for Luther and Alison, but it was great for us as actors to work with each other. Because like, mm -hmm. me and Emmy get on so well anyway. So we do had we? a... Well, uh, I despise you. Uh, awkward. So. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, that was definitely a defining moment for the characters mm -hmm. in, in the show this season. Yeah, that, that was, it, it, you know, it took me back to my roots a little bit coming from theater, but then also, you know, I in a weird way, and I would never say that I'm a dancer first, but to to kind of like teach him and guide him through. <laughs> Which I needed. No, no, he really didn't. He was incredible um, to like, for us to like find our way as friends and, and co-workers. I don't know what it is. <laughs> what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Co, co family members um, through that whole process was so fun. It was a fun night on set. It was like three in the morning. It was freezing. But, you know, it, it was a really, really was good experience. There was some good laughs in there, too. It was about seven hours all yeah. together over, like, four days yeah. that we, so it was pretty intensive. Quick. So we he had to just get really on with best. it. Yeah. Um, and uh, Emma Portner, who was our amazing choreographer, who's actually Ellen's wife, um, was amazing, yeah, wasn't she? Was teaching us. So, so patient, you know. I was panicking that I didn't know, I'd never really worked with a choreographer like that before, so I was panicking that, you know, anytime I'd get it wrong, it'd be like, oh, I should be getting it right by now. Yeah. Um, but she was so good and so patient and so good at teaching us yeah. how to do it. And found a great balance between, like, just, just another partnering dance dream sequence in a show and, like, a, a partnering dream sequence in a show that still was, like, quirky and weird, like the Umbrella Academy and, like, the, the two characters. So, you know, it's not... A, 
it's not a traditional. Yeah, um, it feels, it's very You know, different. there's like a lot of like intricate little hand little things. Little moves and, and stuff, yeah. yeah. It's great. We went to Montreal together. We did go to Montreal, yeah, yeah. for a couple of nights. We so met a teacher, a teacher who was oh, a comedian. Yeah. 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 He was, we were in this, <laughs> what was it? It was a Thai restaurant? Uh, yeah, it was, mm. it was great, actually, really good Thai food. Um, we met this guy who was really hung over and he was picking up delivery. And he was a school teacher, but he was also a comedian on the side. And he hadn't slept for 48 hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was just wrecked. And yeah. he actually, he's, he uh, he's gave us a good steer because later on we went down and watched comedy in this comedy club. Because we were like, we're in Montreal, we have to go watch some comedy. Yeah. So that's um, how we kind of instilled the chemistry between yeah. Them, uh, yeah, a little bit. And earlier on, before we started filming, we had almost two weeks um, at the end of... 2017 there to kind of just get in a conference room and play around and do some sort of workshopping and see what sort of organically comes up and I think all the time spent conveys in the show you know yeah. before we started filming because we were very familiar with each other by that time so yeah. we also we lived really close together so mm -hmm. you know and and because there's so many of us in the cast and all of our plot lines splinter off you know, we we were all working a ton, but it was never like consistent week to week. Um, so we, because our characters spent so much time together, we usually didn't or did not work a lot together. So um, we had so many brunches, so many yeah. coffees, so many just like strolls just up and out. down Queen Street. Yeah. Or me like um, just going with her to while she went and bought some bag or something. I just, oh yeah, I just, like, I just tag along. I'd be like, I'm gonna go shopping, come with me. And he'd just carry my bags. Well, well, <laughs> I, I made you like disappear brother. off to go buy myself a chicken salad or something. I was like, I'm quite hungry. I'm gonna go get some food. But you're picky though. You also you're picky. very specific with what he wants to like. He know I just like to go shopping and see what calls call you know calls upon my taste that day. And he's yeah. like, no, I'm going and buying these specific pair of brown boots. <laughs> It's like, just that? You're just gonna... Just that. Okay, you wanna get a t-shirt? It took me or? nearly a whole season to decide whether to buy them or not. And then you didn't. And then I didn't buy them, no. Because, it, well, the, it was for a winter season, so... It's riveting material. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it, I was like, oh no, well, it's over now, it's summer, I don't need them. You really have to be fully aware when you're when you're working with this guy, because it's like, you you have to know that every take is going to be somewhat different. And, uh, and if you're stuck in a certain way, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna breathe. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I'm gonna slightly bandwagon on Dave's answer. There was a very relaxed, very um, sort of improvisation welcome environment, which you don't always get. And it's just so, it's so liberating when you get time to sort of play around and massage the scene and mess it up and try a stupid thing make everyone laugh or make everyone not laugh <laughs> you know so it's nice when you get that uh, that freedom that was one of the big things for this what was great about it is that we developed a, a trust with each other very yeah. quickly and when you get that it's it makes it really fun and organic and playful mm -hmm. you know when you're doing scenes and we had scenes where there's a lot of drama in it you know and a lot of depth and history and all that but we also had to have fun so mm -hmm. You know, having all of that, that kind of cocktail of, of yeah. stuff, you know, it, it makes it very easy to work with, with someone. And we, we were very fortunate yeah. that we got that, really. There just was, like, ultimate trust on and off set. Like, you know, I you, I would ask him for relationship advice and, and, like, he would help me with self-tape auditions when, you know, it's like we were always, we just instantly became really, really good friends. And yeah. I think it just made what we were doing on camera come so naturally. Like, we never... It didn't feel forced at all. Yeah, you know, it yeah. Was great. And I would ask, I'd be like, do you think I should do this differently? And then he'd be like, I'm saying, that you can hear my accent in this word. How do you say this word? Like, <laughs> yeah. he would constantly be like, yeah. say it, say it. How do you say that word? I'd be like, book. <laughs> <laughs> Not <Yeah>. book. <laughs> <laughs> if the show became a really, I mean, it almost is really in a lot of ways, but if it became a very defining chapter in mm -hmm, our lives, mm -hmm. I think it would be quite special to go and do that, actually. I don't have any tattoos, so. I think I, think I, I think what I would be interested in, it's either like an umbrella, but I also think I might just get a number. Oh, a number, number could be quite interesting. We all yeah. have our numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although the, the umbrella tattoo, it was also quite. You just never had to wear it. I had to that's wear it every the thing. day. I, I, the only time I ever wore it was uh, they Your put flashback. it, yeah, my flashback, yeah, my flashback, and also they put it on my my suit. 
you, if you look close enough, you're on the prosthetic suit. It's on there. Yeah. But I had to, you know, the rest of us had to wear it every day. And I was like, initially, I was like, this is awesome. And then by seven months, I was like, I don't know if I need an umbrella tattoo on my, <laughs> on my arm in real life. All the time, yeah. <laughs> I thought Sinner Man, the, that one was really, really good. Um, you know, just gave a nice little tempo to the fight because it, it kind of juxtaposes what you're saying. Yeah. I liked the use of uh, Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds as well, which pops up there. It pops up in an apocalypse moment. And it just, it, it, it I don't know why it works so well. You know, I suppose that's Jeff Russo's skill. Um, but it was really nice to hear, because that album was relatively familiar in my culture brain. So it was nice, like, oh, I love that song. Yeah, Noel Gallagher. What episode is that? That was episode five, I think. There's a bit where it shows kind of Five's day to day as he survives in the apocalypse, you know? So he's dragging a trailer for oh, the storm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it yeah, shows him yeah. get older, you know? But that song that kicks in at the start of Five, I really love that song. Okay. Noel, if you're watching this, and I assume you are, <laughs> I love you. <laughs>